Grade 5, Subject EVS, Chapter 12, Challengers, Module 2. Objective. At the end of the session, you will explore Magellan's Voyage, Antarctica, the Frozen Continent, and also Mountaineering. So, dear children, in our module 1 of this chapter, we had seen about Mihir Sen and Commander Abilash Tomi, the great adventures, isn't it? Here also in this module, we will go through the adventurous activities of great personalities. Let us see. Have you heard about Magellan? Yes. In 1519, Ferdinand Magellan led an expedition of five ships and over 270 men set sail from Spain in search of Spice Islands. Three years later, only one ship, Victoria, completed the voyage and around the world and arrived back in Spain in September 1522 with a heavy cargo of spice. Until this voyage, People did not dare to make a long journey through water since they believed that the earth is flat. Magellan's journey proved that the earth is round and is so large than they expected. So dear children, Magellan went around the world in a ship through the oceans and he was able to arrived back at the same place from where he started his voyage. This proves that earth is round in shape. Okay, so that's a speciality of Ferdinand Magellan. He proved that earth is round in shape. Can you identify this continent? Yes, you are correct. It is Antarctica. Antarctica is the frozen continent where we can see penguins and seals. It's full of ice there. Research stations of India in Antarctica. We Indians had also gone to Antarctica long years back. 37 years ago, Indians set their first foot on Antarctic ice. It was carried out by National Center for Atlantic Ocean and Research of India on January 9, 1982. The aim of this expedition was to conduct scientific research in the frozen continent. Antarctic Treaty had set up three research stations till now. They are the Chingengo tree, Maitri and Bharati. So dear children, the research stations of India in Antarctica are the Chingengo tree, Maitri and Bharati. And what are the wonders of Antarctica? When we go to Antarctica, we can see or we can experience the crash of splitting and shredding ice. Silence of snow-capped mountain tops, moving through glaciated land, communicate with nesting penguins, and taking photos of seals exposed to warmth in the sun. So, dear children, it's a wonderful place. Now, till now, you came to know about adventurous journey through water bodies, isn't it? Now, let us see some people who have conquered high altitudes in land. So, we are moving to the land now. Okay. Do you know the highest place on earth? Yes, you are correct. It is Mount Everest. It would the, be the ambition of all mountaineers to conquer Mount Everest. The persons who first conquered Mount Everest are Sir Herdman Hilari and Tenzing Norgay. And the first Indian who conquered Mount Everest is Avatar Singh, Chima, 
and the first Indian woman who conquered Mount Everest is Bachendri Pal. And what are the challenges the mountaineers have to face when they move up? There are lots of challenges, isn't it? They sh should face falling rocks, falling ice, deep slopes, bad climate, lack of oxygen. These are some of the challenges faced by mountaineers when they go high up in the mountains. And you might have seen so many tools carried by mountaineers, isn't it? Let us list out some of them. Mountaineering rope, mountaineering helmet, mountaineering boot, ice axe, trekking pole, safety belts, etc. are some of the tools we can see with mountaineers. And why do mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them? Do you have any idea? As we go higher and higher above the surface of earth, the thickness of the air becomes less. At the top of high mountains, oxygen is less. That is why the mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them. So dear children, when we go up and up, the level of the oxygen decreases or become less. That is why the mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them. And when mountaineers trek on high mountains, the level of oxygen drops to a third of what they are at sea level. This area is called dead zone. So when they reach the dead zone, if they are not having the oxygen cylinders with them, they will die without getting oxygen. That is why it is called dead zone. So that's all. We are winding up our module. So dear children, we studied about mountaineers and also Magellan's voyage and the Antarctica, the ice continent or the frozen continent. And the follow-up activity for today is Google and find out native place of Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norge. Please find it out and come the next class. Thank you. Have a nice day.